Hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and I'm counting down my top 10 worst movies of 2019. Let's do it. Now, tomorrow I'll be putting out my top 10 of the year, but for now we're doing the worst. I want to say I don't do this to be mean. I recognize that a lot of people work really hard on these movies, and could I have made a movie that is as good as any of these? No. But you know what? It's tradition and it's kind of fun, so here we go. Coming in at number 10, Simon Kimberg's Dark Phoenix, or X-Men Dark Phoenix, depending on who you talk to. Now, I didn't think this movie was as bad as everybody else did. Certainly didn't think it was very good, but I'll take this over X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men Apocalypse, or X3 The Last Stand any day. Still, aside from one cool action scene, the movie was dull. The villain had all the intrigue of like a bowl of off-brand bran flakes that's been soaking in soy milk for a half hour. And it really ended the franchise with a whimper. However, seeing Cyclops say, oh, f kill you, was hilarious. Wasn't supposed to be, but it was hilarious. Coming in at number nine, Five Feet Apart. Now, this was based on a YA novel, and I recognize that this movie was not made for me. I am not the target audience of this flick. And I did actually think it was acted pretty well, but aside from that, it was incredibly paint by numbers, and it was so schmaltzy, I felt like I'd been bathing in Mountain Dew Red Zone. At number eight, a video on demand film called The Last Man. Here's what I remember about this movie. It was VOD, it was sci-fi, it had Hayden Christensen and Harvey Keitel, and that's about it. Now, I guess that means it's better than Slender Man from last year, because that movie, I didn't even remember that I saw it. I remember that I watched this movie, I just don't remember what happened between, like, the beginning and then leading up to the end credits. Having said that, I went back and looked at the thumbnail I made for that review, and I think my face says it all. At number seven, Serenity. What the f is this movie, and why the f are Matthew McConaughey Anne Hathaway, Jaimon Hansu, Diane Lane, and Jason Clark in it. Did they lose a bet? Again, the performances are good in this movie, and there was a good little movie in here somewhere. And then the ending was so nonsensical and antithetical to everything set up prior to it, just killed it. Let me set it up for you. Here's the basic plot. Matthew McConaughey is a grizzled old fisherman, and his ex-wife, Anne Hathaway, asks him to murder her current evil husband, Jason Clark. And then at the end, and yes, I am gonna spoil it for you, it's been a year if you haven't seen it, you know. Turns out Matthew McConaughey's living in a video game that was created by his estranged son. Okay. At number six, Black Christmas. Pretty much nothing about this movie worked. It wasn't scary, it wasn't funny, it wasn't original, it wasn't fun, but at the very least, it was a complete waste of time. At number five, The Haunting of Sharon Tate. Also a VOD movie, also a really bad movie. I really hated it. Now, some filmmakers like Quentin Tarantino can pull off the whole revisionist history thing. Not so much here. This movie reimagines the Manson family murders in a horror movie context, and Sharon Tate is having these ghastly visions of what's about to befall her and her friends. And I will say Hilary Duff is acting her face off in this movie, but everything about it just feels gross. At number four, the movie that everyone was asking for, Jacob's Ladder, the remake. I was being sarcastic when I said people were out, just so we're clear. Why? Why make this movie? The original, in my estimation, is borderline perfect. This movie apes the best parts of the original, including direct lines of dialogue, and then it tries to build its own DNA. None of it works. There's no surprise. It's not freaky. It's just dull. At number three, falling in love. And I said five feet apart with schmaltzy. What was I thinking? This movie is absolutely saccharine in every way. And its attempts at humor had me cringing all the way through. I'm not sure if I had a single genuine laugh in the entire film. Plus that title. It's clever, see, because she's falling in love, but she works at an inn. Whenever you're feeling bad about your lot in life, just remember that somebody got paid a lot of money to write that title. At number two, Cats. I mean, you knew it was gonna be on the list. And there are people out there who are liking it, I respect that, but for me, aside from Jennifer Hudson singing Memory, nothing about this thing works. It's creepy, it's grossly sexual with these freakish human-cat hybrids from the island of Dr. Moreau being seconds away from throwing down and having an orgy at the Jellicle gangbang, the Jellicle ball, excuse me. You've got CGI mice with human child faces. You've got cockroaches with human faces that Rebel Wilson will eat from time to time when she finds the time off from her extremely busy leg-spreading schedule. And apparently they're still patching the visual effects for it in theaters right now, like, that's the one reason this movie isn't working? And at number one, Beneath the Leaves. 
Going back to the VOD movies one last time. And I'm willing to bet you've probably never heard of this one. And if that's true, good for you. Trust me, it's better that way. I will say there are a couple good performances in this flick, particularly Doug Jones is a creepy serial killer. That worked. But it really is laughably bad. I actually hadn't had that much fun doing a review in a long time. Now, you might be surprised that Cats was not number one on my list, but Cats is, for all of its problems, at least capably made. Beneath the leaves, as mean as this sounds, it feels amateur. There are story problems, there are camera problems, there are sound problems, and I hated almost every second of it. Now let us never speak of it again. So that is my list of the top 10 worst movies of 2019. And if you look down in the description, I have links to every one of my reviews if you want to check them out in depth. But now I want to know, what do you think are the worst movies of 2019? If you want to rank them, do. If you want to just put out a couple, whatever, whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this list, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, top 10 lists, all of that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.